So today what we're doing is we're going to follow the career of a 99 overall prospect. Pretty self-explanatory. Every single attribute is going to be 99 overall. He's going to be 18 years old. We're going to throw him on a random team and we're going to see what he can do. Is he going to be the best player in baseball? Is he going to be a giant bust? Which is definitely possible with the way that MLB The Show Sims. We might get like a two-year wonder and then all of a sudden he just sucks because he wants to drop 10 attributes every single season. Who knows? That's what we're going to see. I hope you do enjoy it. Of course, if you do, hit that thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content. And of course, in the comment section, if you guys want to see a picture version, let me know. Hit that like button. Then I'll know you guys want to see it. So let me introduce you to our man today. We've got Colby Jacks, a shortstop, six foot five switch hitter, 18 years old out of South Dakota. That's right. South Dakota might be the new pipeline for MLB talent, but he's not going to be able to bunt. I don't want that interfering at all with his dingers. And you can see he's 99 overall in every single category. He's currently in the free agents. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to sim until a team decides to pick him up. Whichever team picks him up, then we'll restart the season, restart the franchise, and we'll start his career. All right, so we're at the end of June, and he actually has signed with somebody. Okay, who is it going to be? So the Mets have called up Joey Lucchese, Tyro Estrada to the Giants, Peterson's been called up, Domingo Herman's been called up, Padres called up someone, Yankees fixed a bunch of their roster, it looks like. Who? We've got three more notifications. Who has he signed with? Colby Jackson's been scooped up by the Athletics. Ooh, interesting one. They do need a really good shortstop. Colby Jackson, the Athletics, let's do it. All right, so let's hop into it with Colby Jacks. We'll see if the Athletics do call him up. I probably will call him up. And then what I'll do here, we'll turn on Ignore Budgets, see if that plays an effect at all. I doubt it. I just want players to be able to be signed to teams rather than sitting in free agency because that seems to be a big issue when you have budgets on and MLB be the show still where they just don't sign free agents and then you have like really good players just chilling in free agency um, i'm going to turn everything on auto manual because i don't want to have any control on the roster moves the lineup anything like that let's see did colby jacks make the lineup he did here he is colby jacks in all his glory the south dakota man here we go i mean he does look kind of fresh in that uh, athletics attire Ooh, that uni's looking fresh. All right, so, yeah, Colby Jacks. He's going to be hitting number three in the lineup. 99 overall, no bunting. No, that's not allowed. And you can see he's got every quirk except for, like, what, the bunting quirk? Does, is there a bunting quirk? I would assume there's a bunting quirk. Has to be, like, bunt cheese or something. Is that the quirk? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, he's on the athletics. Interesting move. But let's see what happens. All right, so we're at the deadline. And I actually wanted to stop at the All-Star break, and I just kind of didn't. I wanted to see what kind of, or if he made the All-Star team to begin with. And um, so, yeah. So, right now, he's actually first in the ML or the MVP voting. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right. So, that I would assume he was an All-Star then. Yeah. Let's see what he's, minus one. I mean, I kind of expect that, right? Like, that's, that's kind of understandable. But, I mean, he is killing it. Holy cow. He is in 32 home runs at the All-Star break. That's insane. I do want to see maybe we have a bad hitting coach. Not really. So, like, that's not too bad. I mean, I, I, mean, I don't expect him to hold a 99 overall the whole time. I expect things to kind of fluctuate depending on how he performs. But there we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's a good start to the season. All-Star appearance. What about player of the month? Any player of the month awards? A rookie of the month? Okay. And then a player of the month in May? Okay. I like it. I like it. So far, so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I kind of like that he's on a different team. Because last year when we did this video, we did it with the Pirates. And it was an outfielder. So I felt like, let's try an infielder this time. And I know also, I think this is going to be a pretty cool idea. I think, I think we're going to break some records with this guy. Colby Jacks feels like something special. So let's keep going. Let's see how this pans out. I mean, so far the season's going well for the athletics. It's It looks like it's going pretty well for Colby Jacks. So let's do it. All right, so they're actually a wild card team, which is kind of wild at 96 and 66. League leaders, Frankie Montas has the winning percentage, but what about our man, Colby Jacks? Yeah, stolen bases goes to Starling Marte. That's fine, but we've got home runs, uh, RBIs, hits, 
runs based on balls dot 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 so there's more there's more hold on mike trout with the 342 i hope that doesn't steal away the mvp from him so we've got a gold glove a hank aaron an al rookie of the year and an mvp in his first season colby jacks have a year love to see it love to see it so 192 hits 41 doubles 52 home runs 150 rbis 100 walks 50 stolen bases so he was only two behind starling Marte, who led the league and then you guys can kind of see the other numbers here oof Ooh, only one error too that's impressive and a 13.6 war what's the best war that someone's put up in one season let's see let's see let's see one most war in one season it was 20 back in 1883 okay that let's try to find something a little bit more recent here 1972 we have a 12.5 that's like the most recent there's like 1910 1800 1902 so yeah, like the closest one that I see is 1972 and it was a 12.5. In 97, Roger Clemens put up a 12.1. Okay, Barry Bonds put uh, 11.7 in 2002. So those are kind of the closer ones. Like you, there's definitely, yeah, I mean like Tim Key for Old Hoss Radborn in the 1800s are putting up 19 war. But we're talking about modern day baseball. We've got Colby Jacks over here with a 13.6. You like it. I love it. I want some more of it. So what was that? A gold glove, an all-star, MVP, rookie of the year. Can he bring home a World Series? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, so far so good, right? Can they win this last game? They do. They're in the World Series taking on the Giants. So far so good. I feel like we should... Maybe we should hop into a game, maybe like the elimination game, see how he looks in game, see how everything's going. So let's see, they lose the first, they lose the second and the third. So let's hop into this one. Let's just kind of get an idea of what he looks like in that A's uni. All right, so I went in and player locked, but what I'm gonna do here is it's two nothing already. Things aren't looking too great. Colby Jax is up. So what I'm actually gonna do here is I'm just gonna settings, Let's see here. Can I, let's see. Can I just, we're changing or, okay. Yeah, that's fine. I just want to go in the middle for the at bat. I just want to see him get the at bat in. I don't care if I'm covering up the bases. It's not too important right now. I'm more important to see how he does in game. I mean, 150 rubies in 158 games is insane. I mean, this guy looks like he's going to do some damage. He's hitting 300 in the postseason or 300 in the world series. At least he's going to take two pitches down the middle though. That's not cool. We I need I need to see see something big here. Come on. Alrighty, 0 2. What do we got going here? Taking a pitch at the knees. I like it. Okay, 1 2. Ooh, that was a that was a decent pitch. A little knuckle curve down and in. Okay, 2 2. He's worked it even. So far, so good. I mean, it's only the first. So I mean, like, things could still go well. He's worked it full. Okay, worked it full. Only one out. I, I'd hate to see a walk. I want to see something big. A home run extra base hit double play that's cool too all right two outs it's currently four nothing like it doesn't look too good for the athletics right now and i mean he's taking pitches that look like they should be absolutely matched i need colby jacks to step it up a little bit come on this isn't this isn't cool come on right there that's the pitch oh that's extra base hit all day oh i want to see three here mm, okay a double a double okay keeps the inning alive all right, so Colby Jacks clearly doesn't hit lefties well, which is wild. 143 versus lefties and over the 350 versus righties. Okay, a little reverse split there. But um, one for two, bottom six, still four nothing. So, I mean, like I said, it's still not ideal for the athletics right now. Like, it, it's looking pretty bad. Starling Marte on first, though. A swing of the bat makes this an interesting game. Obviously, that swing of the bat's going to be a home run. Duh. Like, I'm not just being like, oh, he swings the bat once and... Somehow, it's just 2 nothing. Obviously, it's got to be a home run. The amount of pitches I've seen him take right down the middle, unbelievable. That one was literally belt high, just asking to be mashed. Alrighty, 2-2. Two, two. Let's see what we got going on here. Like, just don't get out. That's really what it is. I mean, he's not going to. That's going to get Marte to third. Easy. Easy. Okay. 
Moves the runner over in scoring position. Two outs. I like it. Two for three for Colby Jacks. We're going to see Colby Jacks on the opposite side of the plate this time in the series. He's 5 for 14 with a home run and three RBIs. Two for three on the day. And as you can see, leading off the last chance for the Oakland Athletics to keep this series alive. 7 to 1, though. This is a big mountain to climb. Man, this doesn't look ideal. This doesn't look ideal at all. Okay, so 3-1, bottom nine. I mean, might work a walk, get in base, get on base, not in base, on base. See what happens here. Right down the middle, he grounds out. It's definitely a ground out. Ugh. We know the outcome here. We don't need to see it. Let's get back into the season. Let's get into the future, see if he starts doing better. Second season in the books. Won the division, 101 and 61. Like to see that. Like to see that. So, another uh all-star appearance didn't show you i just feel like it's an all-star appearance i'll keep track of it player of the month i would assume he just ran away with a couple let's see here just one just in july august september okay july august september those were the months that it looks like he popped off offensively you can see doubles we've got batting average hits runs okay and awards we have another mvp there's a gold glove a Hank Aaron Award, and he actually got beat by Jordan. Really? 56 home runs, 128 RBIs, 176 for hits. I mean, that's a good season, right? But he improved. 50 home runs, almost 60 doubles. Two, how is this not... What, because he had three more RBIs and seven more home runs? This is unreal. 1149 OPS, a 442 on base percentage. And you're telling me this guy with 31 stolen bases struck out 86 times, walked 102. This is insane. How is he not MVP? He just got robbed. That's garbage. He just got robbed of an MVP. That's so bad. They get eliminated first round of the postseason. But how are you going to rob Colby Jacks of back to back MVPs? with numbers like that come on like speaking of it 59 doubles is like what one two three four five six like top seven for doubles and the last time we came close to it was in 2000 and also in 2019 castellanos and todd helton so todd helton in 2000 castellanos had 58 in 2019 like 59 doubles that's impressive on top of the fact that he had a nutty average on base percentage and OPS. There, there's no reason why he shouldn't have won MVP there. That's wild. Only because I saw a stupid amount of trades happen. I want to see the league a little bit. So we're just going to go. Let's just go to the Orioles and kind of look around. Because there was. I'm pretty sure I had like 20 trade notifications this offseason. So let's go take a look. See what's going on. We got Adele with the car, uh, the Orioles. So that had to have been a trade. Daza with the Red Sox. Okay. Aquino. Ahmed Rosario is on the Yankees. And I mean, this is only season three. Cattell Marte is with the Rays. Where's Wander? Wander's not even on the team anymore. Okay. Candelario with the Blue Jays. What is going... This league is insane. There's a Rosa Reina with the White Sox. What is going on here? There's people getting traded everywhere. Trevor Stories with the Tigers. Okay. We got Scope with the Royals. Jack Peterson. Any other big moves so far? Buxton. Wanders on the Astros as well with what is this team? That's that's not fair. That's not fair. Uh, meanwhile, we've got like Pretty st like normal team, right? Like that doesn't look like we've changed too much But like I said, I was seeing a stupid amount of trades and it makes sense now people are getting just all over the place Everywhere a kill by dudes with the Mets what is, what is going on and I, I get it. There's no there's no budget but even if there was a budget on, there's still always a stupid amount of trades. And you can see, like, just trades are going wild. And this is just the default trade slider. So, things are things are going a little crazy. The Cardinals have Trey Turner. It's actually not a bad pickup for them. Oh, I, I totally missed a couple teams there. Uh, the Dodgers. Let's go back to the Dodgers. The Giants and the Padres. Let's see. Any other moves here? Trey Mancini. Okay. VR. And then, of course, the Giants. Giants, Correa. Ooh, and Joey Gallo. Ooh, okay. Okay, so our guy, Colby Jacks, entering season three, holding his rating 
pretty well, actually. Obviously, he's only 20, but so far, so good. Let's do season three. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I, I gotta I gotta turn off. I gotta I gotta turn down the traits. I normally do, but wow, this is insane. Look 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 at all these traits. This is just this month. Like, look at this. Shohei Ramon Laureano got traded, which we've already traded him before, apparently, because he was on the Cubs or something. It's just look that's like 97 trades in the first couple months of the season. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get through it. Um, we're not even at the all-star break yet. Like that's how wild these trades have been going. So we'll quickly take a look since we're, we're here right now. Let's go see if he made the all-star team once again. I would assume so. Yeah, he's, he's, he's gonna be kind of nutty. So there it is, another all-star appearance. Season is almost over. Let's just get to it. All right, so they won the division. Okay, season three looking pretty solid. League leaders. What do we got here? Is it just him? Oh, stolen bases again for Marte with 50. How close was it? Stolen bases. He was second with 32. Dang. Marte's just a stolen base machine. That's really what it is. That's really what it is. So awards. We've got a Hank, Aaron, and there it is. The MVP is back in the rightful owner's hands. Colby Jacks should be three straight. But, you know, MLB The Show had to rob him of a, an MVP. But look at these numbers. 47 doubles, 10 triples, 53 home runs, RBI total through the roof. The one time his walks have been under 100. That's wild. And uh, OPS over 1,000 slugging, a 693, 411 on base percentage, and a 317 average. Oof. Oof. That is, oof, that's gross. War. I mean, a 14 war last year. Insane. Insane. I actually want to see what did. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What did your Don have last year for war? He had a 4.2 war. 4.2. I'm telling you, Colby Jackson is getting robbed. Colby Jackson is getting robbed. So we're in the postseason once again. And things don't go well for the athletics. Dang, so that one World Series appearance, and since then it's been a little unfortunate. But for Colby Jackson, it's been pretty good. So it looks like the Athletics have seemed to kind of run out of steam and no longer a postseason team. And uh, Colby Jacks just tearing up the league. Again, not stolen bases. Starling Marte is still holding on to that. But outside of that, uh, everything else is just Colby Jacks. Colby Jacks, Colby Jacks, Colby Jacks, Gold Glove. He didn't win it last year, so he's back getting those gold gloves. Hank Aaron Award and an MVP for our shortstop. That's right, Jordan. Take second place. This is Colby Jacks Award. It shouldn't be called the MVP. We call it the Colby Jacks Award from now on. This guy is unbelievable. Holy cow. This is insane. These are wild numbers. And I'm predicting this now. We're only in season four, but because of this, because he's got these wild numbers now, I'm calling it. By season nine, season 10, season's career's over. Career's over. It's going to happen. I already know it, and it's going to suck. But for right now, I'm enjoying this because this is nutty. So we just finished season five, and I think I'm going to call it here in terms of following every single season. I think the next season I want to check in is his contract year, and then you can see... That looks, that looks pretty nice. I don't think he stole the most bases in the league. No, but he is top four. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll accept it. And then Hank Aaron, another MVP and a silver slugger. Not a gold glove. Did he get robbed again? Dang. He is top three, though. I'll take it. I'll take it. So what do we got going on here? Another MVP award. It's just mashing, huh? It's just he, The dude's a double machine and a home run machine, to be honest. He's already at almost 300 home runs in five years. What is he on pace for right now? I got to figure that out. So he's averaging 52.6 home runs a season. 263 divided by five. Yeah, 52.6 a season. Whoo. 52 a season? So if we do, I mean, he's projected to hit 500 home runs by season nine if he keeps this up. Oh boy. Wow. Okay. I mean, is this is this his best year? Let's take a look. War-wise, 14.3 ties his best year ever. Wow. He is 
he's unstoppable 152 rbis what's the most rbis in a season i he he might be breaking records here in a season all right most rbis in a season was hack wilson in 1930 okay Let's, uh, Hack Wilson in 1930 hit 191. Lou Gehrig had 185 in 1931. So if we're looking for a, a little bit more recent, was 160 by Sammy Sosa in 2001. Every other number above that. So 160 and above. Oh wait, Manny Ramirez had 165 in 1999. But outside of that, this is... This <laughs> it's a lot of like 1930s, 1920s, like <laughs> so Sosa and Manny Ramirez are like the most recent ones in 1999 and 2001. Ramirez with 165 and Sammy Sosa with 160. Whoo, dang! Col Coleman Jacks is up there. He's he's putting his name up there with some of the greats with these seasons. Another MVP. This guy's on fire. So I think he becomes a free agent not this year not next maybe next year i think it's 2027 actually i feel like that's right i'll check in during this contract here though we might have another robbery on our hands mike trout hit 268 35 home runs or no 48 home runs 35 doubles 143 hits 989 ops 623 slugging and 666 on base percentage 130 rbis like this is a great offensive season 34 years old for mike trout we got 42 home runs, 118 RBIs, 10 triples, 51 doubles, and 178 hits for Colby Jacks. Along with 30 stolen bases casually, almost another 100 walk season, a 310 average, 409 on base percentage, and a 1061 OPS. You tell me who your MVP is. Did the Angels make the postseason? They didn't, so they can't even use that as part of the reasoning. Colby Jacks robbed once again of an MVP. I didn't want to show you guys this season. I, I don't even know if he's a free agent this year because half the time it tells me it's arbitration or it's not arbitration. Let me see. Does it say arbitration eligible? Does it name for assignment player? Do, 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 do. Let me check the budget. Can I check the budget? I'm, I'm pretty sure he's a, a free agent this season. I don't really know. I feel like MLB the show needs to figure that out too. The fact that sometimes it tells you he's arbitration eligible and sometimes it just says he's a free agent when it's the last year of his contract. But yeah, Colby Jacks got robbed. This is bull. Okay, so he is a free agent this season. Okay, let's see. Do they sign him back up? Let's see. He's still there. They have the offer on the table. Does he sign with the Oakland Athletics? Did he sign with them? Did he sign with them? He did not. He did not sign. The table, the offer is still on the table. Oh, is he going to sign with them? Oh, is he going to sign with them? All right, let's see where he goes. Michael King signs with the Cubs. If I'm not getting a notification, I'm assuming he re-signed with them. Oh, I thought he was going to go somewhere else. That would have been so much better. That would have been so much better. He re-signed. Big boy contract. 10 years, 30, what was it? 30 mil, 31 mil over 10 years. All right. He's staying in Oakland. I, I would have... The fact that he didn't resign made me think some place was some other team was gonna pick him up. But all right, he sticks with the Oakland Athletics, so maybe he's gonna be an Oakland boy his whole career. 2028 and a monumentous moment, monumentous occasion has happened. No MVP, not even in the running. All right, hear me out. Hear me out. Sub 300 average for the first time in his career. Dang. Sub 1,000 OPS too. Sub 1,000 or sub 600 slugging. Slug, uh, sub 400 on base percentage. This is wild. Season eight. So it took him eight seasons for this to happen. First time he hit less than 40 home runs as well. And you can see the attributes have gone down a little bit, right? Like that makes sense. But it's only 25, right? So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, still a really good season though. Like and I, I, I'm hype. I'm like I'm hyping it up to make it seem like it's this crazy, it's the end of an era type situation. But you know what? It's still not bad, right? Like he won an MVP last year. Um, you guys saw that there. I mean, he's made the All Star game every single season. He's been winning awards every single season. This is the first time he hasn't won a single accolade in a season. And um, yeah, this guy's 
killing it still. I mean, almost 400 home runs. He'll definitely hit that next year. He's at 1,500 hits. So I'm just a little worried that like this is the first big drop off. I really hope it doesn't continue. So that's only season eight. I'll skip season nine. See you guys at season 10. Unless they like make the postseason, win a World Series or something crazy. But I'll see you guys in a couple seasons. All right, season 10 in the books. And yeah, let's let's see. What do we got going on awards wise? Gold Glove and a Hank Aaron Award. <sighs> Colby Jacks did look like he carried the team a little bit though. He had a 319 average, almost 40. I mean, he, he seems like he's doing well. Like yeah numbers are going down at the age of 27 makes perfect sense right but like he's still doing really well still doing fantastic like he's absolutely killing it insane insane but um yeah i mean these are unbelievable numbers just shy of 500 home runs 10 years into the league that's crazy and it, it makes sense like as soon as we brought it up right like he would start to cool off like of course just as i brought it up like he's about to hit 500 home runs in season 10 you know the double numbers aren't too far off from the home run numbers hits wise just shy of 2000 hits and i mean he's at 324 stolen bases like he's stealing bases at like a really good level so he's insane right now war 125 war hold on i gotta see let's take a look here war mlb let's see here 125 war let's see let's see let's see career leaders for war babe ruth had 183 what's mike trout at right now pool is at 99 mike trout's at 76 for his career so 125 that puts him once that puts him uh, 13th overall like career wise already 125 like that's unbelievable unbelievable he's still an all-star every single game still been winning like what silver slugger almost every single year but sadly i think at the age of 27 at the very old age of 27 we've seen the best from colby jacks so we'll kind of take it here and there every couple seasons he's still got what six years left on his deal so there's that but um i want to see maybe we get some more years out of him it sounds terrible he's only 27 like that's wild he should be going for another 10 years without any drop off with the way he's been playing but we'll see so far so good though like his numbers are unbelievable all right 2033 and uh yeah we're we're still pretty solid you can see colby jacks still leading the league in a couple categories no award but he's still keeping his all-star streak going so Colby Jacks down to a 94 at the age of 30, 30 years old. And this is when things start to really take a dive. That's it's super disappointing, right? Like he kept his quirks all up until this point, like things were going great. And like, he's still putting up really good numbers, almost 50 doubles, almost 200 hits. You know, the home runs are there. Stolen bases are still 44. Like he has 432 um, stolen bases. Let's, let's take a look. Stolen bases in career. Let's, let's just take a look. I know it's a stupid number like Ricky Henderson, but I just want to see what's after that. So Ricky Henderson has 1,400. Lou Brock had 938. So we're at what? 432? That actually puts him... 432 puts him at number 60. Just over Marquise Grissom. So, I mean, he's top 60 at 432, which is wild that like players were stealing bases at an elite level like that. But like... This is probably his, his best season in a few seasons. Did really well. And you can see his attributes are going down. He's still got three years left on his contract. So I'm intrigued to see how everything pans out there. But like home runs, 557. Hits, 2400 almost. Like he's killing it. Doubles through the roof and the war. I mean, the war is insane. Like he's unbelievable. 153 for war. So like I said, even though he is going down and I fully expect him to just just tank i mean he's gonna look like a 90 year old by the time his contract's over if he continues at this rate but this is this is really good maybe it has to do with his team not being really good maybe that's that's a thing maybe he needs to be on a different team i don't know but so far it's still really good numbers even though we are starting to lose the ability of colby jacks which is wild he's only 30 years old if he was like 34 35 yeah i totally understand it but this guy has been killing it every single year 
and sadly that's just that's where it ends so yeah actually it doesn't well you guys know how it ends i'm not saying it ends right now but i'm just saying it's 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 gonna end with him being like 32 and he's gonna be like a 50 overall it sucks but that's just how it is all right so this would be year 15 and we have colby gone i i think the team released him in the final year of his deal um yeah because i was gonna i was gonna go to statistics and i was gonna show you everybody's like career numbers because i was gonna be like all right yeah let's 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 go look let's go see how everybody's doing it and yeah he left and signed with the colorado rockies wow okay so the reason i wanted to do this was because i knew he dropped in rating a lot like he's down to an 81 you guys can see that right so the reason i would yeah like i said i i wow okay so i'm, I'm mind blown right now i'm just absolutely mind blown so Colby Jack's 81 overall. So he's at least holding his overall pretty well. He's just shy of 3,000 hits, and he's actually currently the career leader for hits in the like the act for active players. And you can see like Bryce Harper's still in the league. He's at 58. Eloy's a 72. And uh, I'll just kind of scroll through it so you guys can kind of get an idea of where everybody is age-wise. And uh, yeah, like 41, 37, 40, 36, like 33 for Wander. And Wander's still at 90. Like Wander's still doing really well. 33 years old. How old is Colby? 33 too. Wander's doing better than Colby right now. Like I'm thinking Wander's gonna out survive Colby in the league. Tatis is 37. Okay. So yeah, you guys can kind of get an idea of like what the league is starting to pan out now. But um, I did want to show you where he was compared to everybody else. We'll take a look at home runs as well. He is third for active players, just shy of Bryce Harper and Alvarez. So, okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. Stolen bases, I know he's at the top by a lot. Average, he's still holding a 300 average. OPS, yeah, whatever. That's not fair. That guy doesn't count. So, yeah, I guess he's on the Rockies now. That is unfortunate. So, he had one more year with the rock or with the athletics and i guess they just released them and then he signed with the the rockies so i guess is he gonna be an everyday guy with this team he's not oh yeah he is he's gonna play third base okay that works i guess actually no he's not even an everyday guy i don't know we'll see what happens but yeah let's let's see last year was the first time he didn't make the all-star game so there's that so he went no yeah 2035 was the first year he did not make the all-star game in his career that is wild all right let's get to it let's see how this pans out all right so we're in the first year like it's done with the rockies and i don't know if he'll get re-signed with them because it was a one-year deal he's down to a 75 and he's easily his worst season for sure 137 games the average is low ops the on base percentage oh this is so disappointing I mean, 16 years in the league is like a really good career, right? Like 33, you know, you're still feeling like you should be doing well. And I mean, you know what? I'm, I'm pretty happy with the output that he's... If we can get him to 3,000 hits, I think that's a that's a win in my book. Like, that's that's the... Like, 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 like let's check it off. Everything went well. 3,000 hits. I feel like this was probably one of the best sims of a player we've ever had. And it only took a 99 overall in every single category to do it. But um, the war at 2.8 is kind of sad to see too. But overall, this guy has been killing it. This is an insane career. And I love to see it. So no award, sadly. But there it is. So I'll continue to track his career. He's probably going to hop around from team to team for the next few seasons. So let's let's just hold off on the check-ins. And let's kind of see what we have when we kind of hit like the twilight of the end. Like basically the end of the career. So we've hit the end of the road for Colby Jacks at 2042. And he's a 44 overall, 40 years old. He's still got that thief quirk. I mean, look at that steal rating, 93. He held on to that for like the entire entirety of his career, which is okay, pretty cool. But 44 years old. And let's see how it finished, right? He got one year with the Rockies. And then we snuck him in for two years with the Athletics and look at the hit total i mean it's so close 30 18 so 3018 hits 732 doubles okay so i do want to take a look here let's go career for doubles 
triples 113 i'm assuming that's not that high on the list we, we could take a look at him just in general where he kind of ranks all time stolen bases let's pull that one up too and we'll go with war as well war 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 for the career all right so for doubles he had 738 that is third all time for doubles wow okay pretty impressive for triples he had 113 that's not even that high at all that's like not even top 100 yeah not even top 100 okay fair 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 home runs 624 that puts him at number eight all time for home runs killing it we've got next up for rbis he had a, a 1756 1756 puts him number 24 just beating honus wagner okay okay average at 308 is pretty impressive as well career hits 3018 3018 puts him 30th all time just beating out wade boggs and actually too short of number 29 rafael palmero pretty good career so far stolen bases he finished with 578 578 puts him at 23rd all time he was too short of ozzy smith we have war this is the one i'm most most excited about war so obviously 160 oh hold on 162 for his career oh that's barry bonds hold on oh wait hold on is this for a season career leaders and record okay so for war all time 162 they have barry bonds and babe ruth so i guess the list i looked at earlier was incorrect had to have been Okay, so the list I looked at was incorrect earlier, which is a little worrying because I don't know what list I was looking at earlier, but he finished with 168 war, and that is the best all time for any player. I guess the list I looked at was just completely wrong earlier in the video, but this one right here from Baseball Reference, I have career leaders and records for war, position player, 162.7 is a tie for Babe Ruth, and Barry Bonds. Next up was Willie Mays with 156. So Colby Jacks, best war all time for a player. It's got to be a Hall of Fame career, right? There he is. There he is. Insane. I'll take a look at average too for batting average. What was it? 308. What does that put him all time? That puts him. Ooh, that puts him pretty pretty low. 308. That puts him at 124th all time. So, again, Colby Jacks, easily one of the best players all time in baseball. Has to be. I want to see if any... I guess I can't really see. But, yeah, Colby Jacks, have yourself a career. Crazy, crazy numbers. Most war all time. Top for home run. Well, not the top of the top for home runs. But, you like, tri trip, uh, doubles, hits, home runs. He's in the top like categories this guy was absolutely insane stolen bases he killed it colby jacks have yourself a career i hope you enjoyed it following the career of a 99 overall prospect if you enjoyed it hit that thumbs up if you're new to the channel consider hitting that subscribe button and of course in the comment section down below did you enjoy today's video do you want to see more videos like this do you have any other ideas like this i'd love to hear them i'll catch you in the next one guys peace